What's up, guys? Captain Deadpool here. Sorry, I started filming without me knowing what's going on. Um, this is a continuation of my X Men collection. It still looks like it's blurry. Sorry, guys. I'm new to this YouTube thing. Okay, there we go. So, this is the X Men Messiah Complex, Chapter 1, Number 1, The Variant Edition. I thought this cover was super cool. Got this during one of the dollar days at my LCS. Um. X-Men Anniversary, this is issue 25, I can't remember, but it's like the fold-out cover, it's super cool, and then uh, some X-Men Annuals, King Size Annual number 6, is it Dracula, it's a cool one, 7, I haven't read this one yet, so I don't know who the hell that green dude is, uh, this is 9, this is uh, when uh, Storm becomes Thor, Goddess of Thunder. Um, I have number eight actually, and I need to figure out where the hell that is now. That's driving me nuts. Where it tells you how she becomes Thor. Oh, it's actually part of a different one. I think it's like a New Mutants annual. Now that I think of it. So uh, X Men Annual Thirteen. This is part of Atlantis Attacks. I don't have all of Atlantis Attacks. I read that. Um, this is uh, Days of Future Present. X Men Annual Fourteen. This is, to me, the real first appearance of Gambit. Um, this is always one I can stealth by because people don't know that that's what it is. He's in like one panel. So people are like, that's not his first appearance. But to me it is. But whatever. X-Men Annual 14. Got two copies of that one. This one's in really good shape. I might send this one to get graded. And then just X-Men Annual number one from the 90s one. And number 16. Oh, I guess this is all part of Shattershot. I didn't even realize I picked up an X Factor, but like B says, right? X Men, X Factor, X Force. What's the other one? There's another one. And this is part four of Shattershot. And then X Men Annual number two. Oh, I'm gonna grab another stack real quick. I'm trying to go through these ones a little quicker. Um, so this is X-Men Phoenix, uh, War Song. This is a really good read. The art's really good. It's a five-parter. It's got the Cuckoos. I think that's what they're called. It's pretty much about them. They're, like, these girls that are all, like, twins or triplets or whatever. And then they get the powers of the Phoenix. And they're all, like, Emma Frost's daughters. Look at that cover, that is badass. Oh, I really enjoyed reading this. And then some X Men. It's 197, 198. It's a three parter, so I picked up all three parts. 199, Zombie Rogue. It's a cool cover. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um, Inferno, number one. I don't know if it's a one shot. This is a book I picked up on Dollar Days. I had a chance to read it. Not a lot of books to read. I don't know. I, I see people buy books and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to put it in a box. But I try to read all my books. Uh, this is the X-Men and Teen Titans crossover. It's in pretty rough shape. But it's cool to have that book. And then X-Men and Alpha Fight, number one. And number two. X-Men and the Micronauts, number one. And they have number one. And then this special edition X-Men, number one, is just, I think, a reprint of Giant Size X-Men. I'll get the last stack real quick. All right, guys, this is the last stack. I have more, like, X-Men crossovers with, like, Spider-Man and stuff, but I don't know. You guys are probably bored of seeing my X-Men collection, but I just thought it'd be fun to bust these out. X-Men, number one. Number two. three number four first appearance of Omega Red picked this up for like a dollar self buy it's got gnarly reader crease though I don't know what you call it but that's what I call it I'm just reading open a lot number five super cool cover number seven I think I have number six no I don't have number six and then everybody else, yes, had a box of these X-Men books out for a while, and I was picking through them, and then he put them in the back, and once they go in the back, they're, they're just lost. 
and 25. I don't know why I always see this one selling for a lot of money. I have no idea why. I don't know if there's anything special about it. And then 26. This is, I had this one since I was a little kid. It's Captain America and the X-Men. I, I had to pick that up. And then X-Men Alpha number one. And this is a what if. I had some what ifs I thought I'd pull out. This is what if the X-Men had never existed. Or the all new, all different X-Men didn't exist. That one's really cool. I like the what ifs a lot. They're, they're a lot of fun. And then uh, what if Storm of the X-Men had remained a thief. And then uh, this is the booger special. What if Cable had destroyed the X-Men. And it came with a booger from the original owner. You can see that right there. You can see like Kyle Rowe doing that to his books, you know, like in his territory. <laughs> and then uh, Uncanny X-Men Annual Number 1. But yeah, guys, that's my X-Men collection for the most part. I still have a bunch of other stuff, but I just thought I'd show you guys, make some videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.